hello everyone. Uh, my name is Wan Li Xing. I'm a assistant professor of educational technology at the University of Florida, and uh, I'm directing a lab called Advanced and Inclusive uh, Computing for Education. Um, today's topic is teaching and learning and the human technology frontier, the power of artificial intelligence and big data. And this presentation, we have four sections. First, I will introduce the background uh, of artificial intelligence uh, in the field of education. And then I will talk about some cases on how do we design, develop, and investigate AI technologies for STEM education. And third, I will uh, discuss how to teach AI and advanced computing for the future workforce. And uh, last, I will reflect on uh, my research and uh, conclude uh, this talk. So first, I'll talk about AI for STEM education. So uh, artificial intelligence uh, is uh, called new electricity because of the uh, recent breakthrough uh, in supercomputing and the accumulation of big data. Uh, it has been transforming various fields such as manufacturing, transportation, and healthcare. So does uh, uh, artificial intelligence, so does uh, in education. So artificial intelligence in education, there's a, a professional society about this. Uh, uh, essentially, it's an interdisciplinary uh, field uh, with uh, the field of, with research in computer science, psychology, and education. Computer science uh, offers uh, the algorithms and technologies uh, to automate and support uh, learning pro teaching and learning processes. And psychology uh, give us the understanding of the base, uh, basic understanding of the learning processes. And education provide provide us the pedagogical frameworks to deliver and uh, to for the interaction of AI and the learners and teachers. So uh, my research in AI AD focused on two aspects. Uh, first is uh, AI for STEM education, which is to uh, design, develop and research uh, various AI technologies to improve STEM teaching and learning processes. And uh, uh, to do this, I draw on learning science theories, frameworks to driven the design and develop of the technology and uh, to optimize the STEM learning processes. And uh, uh, another aspect of my work is to uh, investigate and explore how to teach uh, AI and data science concepts for a future workforce, uh, including both K-12 students and uh, um, uh, post-secondary students. So in this process, I rely on uh, 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 various theories of teaching and learning and, uh, uh, and interact with various uh, technologies to support this process. And then I will move to the uh, AI for STEM education. Uh, specifically, I'll uh, share a case uh, funded by NISF for AI for science labs. Uh, laboratory experience uh, is an uh, is a in in indispensable part of science and engineer education. Uh, virtual labs have grown significantly over the uh, last decade uh, using simulations and modeling. However, few educators and uh, researchers would uh, actually recommend uh, replacing physical labs with virtual labs completely. Uh, actually, American Chemical Society and the National Academy of en Engineers extremely emphasize the importance of hands-on uh, experiments. Uh, but the success uh, of the virtual labs compelled me to think, uh, you know, to, to ask, what can we learn from virtual labs so that we can incorporate that into physical labs uh, to improve uh, the hands-on uh, uh, hands learning process? Uh, so the virtual labs, we will reflect, we will invest the literature and the theories behind it. We found that there are three unique affordances of virtual labs. One is uh, scientific visualization because it can uh, produce uh, rich scientific visualization for the uh, hands-on uh, hands uh, uh, for the uh, uh, scientific uh, uh, labs, and also it can uh, accelerate the, the experimental process. And uh, because of the uh, virtual environment, it can provide adaptive feedback to the uh, students. Uh, so the goal of this project is to uh, uh, incorporate uh, or learn from the virtual labs and uh, incorporate that affordances into physical labs. 
So, uh, and, uh, as, I, uh, as I overview my research uh, dimensions, I draw on learning science theories and frameworks to inform the techno AI technological design. So this particular framework and that guides our design development uh, of the smart labs uh, is a theory of concrete fading. Uh, according to this theory, uh, students uh, began with uh, physical uh, interactions with concrete uh, instage agents of a target concept, and then gradually uh, move toward the abstract conceptions. Uh, so uh, it provides a, a perfect way for us to incorporate the uh, the uh, the opponents of uh, uh, of uh, virtual labs, uh, which you know we can use computer vision to monitor students' uh, physical interaction with the uh, materials, and then using artificial intelligence and uh, learning analytics to analyze the students' experimental pro process in real time and provide a, um, a feedback uh, to the uh, students so that you know we can you know uh, uh, provide uh, provide uh, um, uh, uh, pro, uh, provide uh, the uh, augmented learning experience for the uh, students. Uh, what it means, you know, when students uh, are conducting experiment in the lab, and uh, uh, the the background can be faded, and then we can project abstract concepts onto the screen, so that you know uh, students not only have the physical experience with the lab materials, but also uh, you know uh, uh, can get the abstract concepts. Uh, behind it, and in the meantime, get uh, real-time feedback, uh, uh, real-time feedback, real-time feedback uh, from the AI. And here, I will talk about, uh, give you a specific uh, uh, example. For example, pendulum experiment is a, a classic experiment in physics and uh, you know science education classrooms. You can see, you know, uh, from the uh, smart motion lab uh, demo, when uh, when the uh, 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 the, the using computer vision, we can track the, uh, the movement of the pendulum and uh, uh, when students are interacting with the pendulum and then we can use computer vision to project uh, the movement of the pendulum that the, uh, the abstract concepts uh, beyond uh, in, in the in the screen so that you know uh, students not only get experience of physical interaction but also can get the uh, the you know the uh, the feedback uh, the feedback from the AI and also the uh, the abstract concepts behind the pendulum. Here uh, we call it a smart head lab, which means you know uh, uh, students uh, uh, students learn the uh, head transfer, uh, uh, which is a key concept uh, in the science classroom. Uh, so we we conduct we use computer vision to. Uh, uh, to see a you know, computer infrared vision and to you know place the abstract concepts uh, 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 over uh, over the uh, physical uh, uh, physical materials so that students not only can uh, you know um, can uh, can interact with the physical materials but also you know understand the key uh, uh, abstract concepts behind it. And uh, here is uh, the uh, two thumbs up experiment, which you know students first interact with the physical materials and then get the uh, pictorial uh, manipulation and finally get the uh, final abstract concepts. So this is uh, how we designed using the uh, 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 communist fading theory. And uh, we conducted design-based research uh, with two rounds of students and then we examined their, uh, you know, their engagement during the experimentation and the science practices uh, in the head lab using a lab report and then we examined uh, we investigated their conceptual understanding of height transfer and here is the experimental uh, design uh, process uh, which you know we not only uh, get the uh, various student data and lab reports we can also get their logs uh, when students interact with our uh, uh, with our AI AI agent and the results found that you know uh, uh, students uh, 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 are very engaged during the uh, lab activities and uh, they use different pieces of evidence in their observation uh, description in the, uh, in, the lab, in the lab report. And uh, then look, uh, let's look at the concept change example. Uh, for example, uh, 
before the uh, wood ruler is colder than the metal ruler, means the wood ruler will uh, continue to hotter than the metal ruler, which is uh, 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 which is uh, the uh, which is uh, 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 which is which the results we collected before the uh, uh, before the experiment and then after the experiment, it can see yes, it does. It depends on if a conductor or not. If it is, then it would diffuse faster than insular because it's easy to let let heat in. Which means, you know, uh, the experimental uh, process using the uh, augmented um, uh, augmented uh, uh, you know uh, learning environment, uh, students can actually lead to a concept change uh, for the uh, heat transfer. And uh, uh, we check the. Uh, 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 prediction and explainer, which is the pre-test uh, pre and the post-test, we found that there's a significant difference uh, between uh, students' uh, prior uh, knowledge on uh, prior understanding of the heat transfer and the uh, uh, with the, the post hoc test. So we will reflect on the three strats for AI to support science learning. We rely on learning theory called the theories concrete fading and using computer vision and image processing to provide a feedback and uh, to uh, overlay the uh, the abstract concepts uh, uh, over the uh, over the physical materials and then using augmented reflection we can enhance the student's science learning and now uh, i will talk about uh, how i explore and examine and uh, you know, uh, create uh, various frameworks and uh, approaches, pedagogical approaches and strategies to teach AI, data science, and uh, and computing uh, for future workforce development. So, uh, K twelve data science education is uh, pretty challenging because there's no room uh, for data science, right? Whether uh, there's a, it's not a required course. And uh, do you teach it in statistics, in math? Or so there's no uh, de dedicated place for data science uh, education, and uh, more important, um, uh, and even more challenging is data science or AI. They have a very interdisciplinary background. According to National uh, Academy of Science, Engineering, and Medicine, data science have three key areas, which is computing, mathematics, and statistics. So how do we teach the data science is quite challenging in the K twelve community. And uh, what we did is uh, we use a uh, uh, logic as a fundamental mathematical logic as a fundamental uh, uh, integration strategy to integrate to uh, uh, perfectly unify the foundation of uh, 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 of uh, computing math and statistics and combine it with our programming so that we can unify the foundation uh, of uh, the data science learning. And here is the uh, data science modules we probably uh, we proposed. Uh, 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 to address uh, the data science foundation learning uh, uh, in K twelve context, and uh, we use a pre post test design with fifty three high school students over fifteen lessons, and we uh, uh, we cap uh, we com uh, we uh, we we captured their st student learning computing and learning statistics and their overall learning experience. And we can find that students have a significant uh, uh, improvement uh, uh, for their computing learning as, as well as for their statistic learning uh, with large effect size. And uh, overall, students really enjoy uh, these modules. You know, uh, they were actually very, you can see their comments from the interview data, they were actually very well uh, structured, uh, looks nice and connected, like eventually all different things together. It shows like, you know, the, uh, we're using mathematical logic to unify all the foundations of um, uh, of the data science for math, statistics, and computing. And this course and computing is going to do statistics. And understanding of statistics uh, helps me understand the computing more. So you, uh, using the mathematical logic, students can really explore and understand the connections between statistics, computing, uh, and uh, mathematics. And uh, uh, lastly, you know, uh, uh, by collaborating with uh, NIMS, uh, uh, NIMS Institute faculty members, uh, such as uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Sarah Bonia and uh, Dr. Sandy Barry, we have been uh, quite a successful uh, in, you know, ex uh, in investigating hands-on learning for cybersecurity education uh, and gaining support from various uh, agencies and foundations. So the current uh, cybersecurity education uh, field is mainly focused on like, you know, uh, the, the software side of things. So for, for our work, we mainly uh, investigate on the hardware security education and then investigate how we use hands-on learning, a low-cost hands-on learning uh, 
uh, modules to promote um, uh, uh, to promote the students uh, learning uh, in both K-12 and uh, uh, and uh, undergraduate uh, context. So uh, we are still there are uh, uh, quite a there are quite a uh, quite a few e efforts we are uh, continue uh, working on in this field. So this is my uh, uh, overall like uh, share the two aspects of my work uh, in AI for STEM and AI and uh, computing workforce development. So in Kanlura and Beta, uh, I'm mainly interested in design, develop, and research artificial intelligence uh, based on cyber physical learning environments to improve uh, teaching and learning for particularly for STEM context. And also with the uh, uh, universal presence of AI, I want to investigate or even come up with a theory of human machine partnership or human machine uh, uh, symbiosis, right? How do we, what are the theoretical, what are the fundamental uh, uh, principles or like guidance uh, uh, we, can, uh, we can get when, you know, you unify AI and the students or AI and the teacher. So how do we, you know, best to, uh, 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 and be, uh, best to uh, best to foster the human machine partnership to improve teaching and learning processes. And I will continue to investigate AI data science and the uh, computing future workforce development via various uh, lear uh, learning uh, learning and teaching frameworks, via various uh, learning technologies, and why uh, various like you know strategies and the tools. So uh, of course, this is work. It's not only by me. I have a very uh, grateful for the uh, various uh, supporters of this work and my research team. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me or check, uh, check uh, and uh, you can also check my lab website for more information regarding my research. Thank you.